Guang Sheng Di said, Man lives in the world. If he values loyalty, filial piety, honesty, and righteousness above all else, he will not fail in life. However, if he doesn't value loyalty, filial piety, and honesty, and righteousness, although his body is alive, his heart is already dead. This is called stealing life. Man's heart knows the gods, and the gods know man's heart. If a man is not ashamed of himself, neither are the gods. If you lie to yourself, you cheat the gods. Therefore the good man is cautious and wise, and is careful in his actions when alone. He doesn't believe that he could do evil that others couldn't see, for if he were seen doing evil, he would have regrets. The gods see every move a man makes, as if ten eyes were watching and ten, ten hands pointing at him. He should always do his best, for it is clear that one reaps what he sows. Make not the slightest error. Lust is the beginning of all kinds of evils. Feel your piety is the origin of all good deeds. Those who go against what is right must have regrets. They do not say out loud, this benefits me only, yet secretly they do only what benefits themselves. Those who do what is right have no regrets. They do not say out loud, this is to help others, then neglect to do what benefits others. If you would follow my teachings, then try to carry my sword. This is my sword. Respect heaven and earth, sacrifice to the gods, respect your elders, be filial to your parents, obey the law, listen to your teachers, love your brothers, be honest with your friends, put the souls of your ancestors at peace, be kind to your neighbors, understand the proper relations between husband and wife, educate your children and grandchildren, always be willing to lend money, amass merit through anonymous good deeds, Help those in difficulty, have pity on the orphaned and the poor, repair temples, print religious books, donate medicines, do not kill, release captive animals, repair bridges and roads, help widows in distress. Be frugal, Re relieve others' difficulties, do what is worthy and beautiful, teach others what is good, dispel injustice, use honest weights and measures. Make friends with the virtuous, avoid the wicked, fight evil, uphold good, the, well, help the people, make your heart follow the proper path, make yourself anew, fill yourself with kindness, have no evil thoughts, do good works, and have an honest heart. Although other men may not see you do these things, the gods will quickly hear of it. They will increase your wealth, add years to your life, help your children and your grandchildren, stop the misfortune and disease, and prevent you from suffering the disasters. Your life will be peaceful and lucky stars will shine upon you. However, if your heart is full of evil and you do not do good things, lust after other people's wives and daughters, break up their marriages, destroy their purity, ruin their skills, scheme for their wealth, instigate lawsuits, harm others in order to benefit yourself, rail against heaven and earth, slander the wise and virtuous, destroy statues of the gods, 
cheat the gods, wantonly kill living things, destroy good books, rely on force, slander the good, use weapon wealth to oppress the poor, separate people from their relatives and brother from brother, not believe in the true path, lust, steal, go whoring, swindle others, act extravagantly, waste grain, are ungrateful, go against your conscience, use crooked weights and measures, set up false teachings, lead on the simple-minded, falsely say that someone has died, extort goods, cheat others, talk obliquely, curse people in broad daylight, scheme to hurt others behind their backs, not follow heaven's way, not make others happy, refuse to believe in karma, entice others to do evil, and do not even a bit of good yourself. Those who do such things will have reason to regret it. They will suffer fire, flood, and bandits. They will uh, suffer plague, give birth to idiots, be destroyed themselves, and have their family line extinguished. Their sons will become thieves and their daughters whores. Retribution will fall upon them, their sons and their grandsons. The gods see everything and don't miss even anything as tiny as a hair. God, good and evil are two paths. Disaster and fortune are separate things. If you do good, you will have good fortune. If you do evil, you will suffer misfortune. I tell you this to encourage you to act. Although my words are simple, they are of great benefit. Those who make fun of my words will be destroyed. If you recite this prayer, evil will vanish and joy abound. Pray for a son and you will be given a son. Pray for a long life and you will have one. Wealth, rank, accomplishment, and fame can all be obtained. Whatever you pray for, you will receive. Disasters melt like snow, and blessings will gather like clouds. If you wish to obtain these, the blessings they can only <clears throat> they can only be obtained by doing good i am hiding nothing from you i only answer the prayers of the good of good men accumulate merit and do good deeds do not delay and lose your will to do good Chongqing in Sichuan province was suffering a plague. To the right of Erlang Temple lived a man named Wang Sengkong, who always did good works. Because of the plague, he called the people together, erected an altar, and held a great sacrifice. In the early afternoon of the 6th of April, a laborer by the name of Chen King came to watch the sacrifice. Suddenly he sat in front of the statue of Guan Sheng Di, and with a solemn face cried out, I, Guang Sheng Di, is here. Clouds gathered and the bells and drums sounded by themselves. Thus startled Wang Sheng Kong and the others, who turned pale with fright and fled the altar. Guang Sheng Di said angrily, I use loyalty and righteousness to rule the world. I live in heaven, but my heart is with the people. I wish to save all living things. Keep loyalty and righteousness in your hearts in order to avoid disaster. I do not expect people to do senseless evil. I cannot bear to see living things suffer, so I have come to warn you. The people do not respect heaven and earth, are not filial to their parents, do not believe in the gods, steal, are full of lust, 
They scheme constantly, commit all kinds of sin, and are full of evil. These things are all recorded by the gods. Each and every sin is known in heaven. The Jade Emperor of Heaven saw the evil piling up like a mountain, and descended to earth to determine what good or evil was being done. He could barely find ten people in a thousand doing good deeds. He returned to heaven in a rage and wished to destroy all those wicked creatures on the earth. I gathered the gods together and repeatedly begged him to be lenient. So the Jade Emperor sent the plague god to earth to kill only those who are wicked and told them not to touch a house that was that cultivates good is pure does many good deeds and is harmonious once before i gave all living things my world awakening prayer where i taught you to respect heaven and earth sacrifice to the gods put the souls of your ancestors at peace be kind to your neighbors respect your spouse teach your children and grandchildren act uprightly accumulate merit through anonymous good deeds and not kill living things however you did not obey today i have come especially to tell you that if you immediately and respectfully follow this prayer's teachings copy it or have it printed and distributed danger will pass your pain will stop evil will melt away and blessings will gather around you like clouds if you ignore it however it will be almost impossible to escape disaster Chen King collapsed then slowly woke up again the people all believed in this prayer copied it and gave it to the other people until it spread everywhere everyone talked about it in the town of Manlin there was an official named Zhu Tingji who when he heard about the, the prayer said this is all nonsense he no sooner spoke than he bled from all of his orifices and died on the spot. Oh.